Hi everybody and welcome back to the tasting room. We're sampling today a straight bourbon whiskey from Colorado. This is Colorado Gold. So just this past summer my folks took a trip to Colorado and like me uh, whenever they're on vacation they are seeking out the local spirits and brews and whatnot and they came back with this one here this uh, this Colorado Gold. So while Kentucky bourbons pride themselves on the use of their limestone filtered water, um, I, I've noticed a lot of Colorado bourbons boasting Rocky Mountain snowmelt uh, as the water source for, uh, for their bourbons. So this one here is no different and it is uh, bottled at 90 proof I believe. Make sure I got that right. Yep, 45% 90 proof. This is barrel number 83, bottle number 194. Uh, and it was bottled on June 1st of 2020. Fresh out of the barrel. Let's have a look at the color here. More like Colorado copper to me. Quite an interesting nose on this one. Wow. And some very strange notes here. Very fruity. I've got some berries. Loads of vanilla. Citrus fruits. Just a medley of fruits and vanilla. Boy. It's almost creamy. Boy, if I, if I didn't know this was a bourbon, I would have a hard time pegging this as a bourbon. I don't know what this smells like. This is definitely interesting though. Wow. Let's have a taste. Okay, on the palate here, a lot like the nose. You know, some creamy vanilla and almost like a, uh, almost tastes like a cream soda. I think that's what I'm smelling in there too. About midway through the palate, some corn emerges, along with a, um, accompanied by a caramel sweetness. Boy, it's certainly not your typical bourbon. Points for uniqueness, for sure. A bit of allspice here, kind of building into the finish. Seems to be a medium length finish here. Just a bit of a, uh, a bit of a tangy aftertaste. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, so as I mentioned, points for uniqueness for this one. This is not going to be a bourbon that is for everybody. Um, you know, it's certainly not your uh, your typical typical garden variety uh, bourbon here. But um, if you like a change of pace and, and you don't mind a curveball, if you can find this one, this, this is an interesting one here to pick up. Uh, so on the nose... You know, again, some uh, some fruit notes that we're really not familiar with in your typical bourbon. Um, some some cherry, some citrus, you know, and loads and loads of vanilla, which is typical of a bourbon. But it's you know, ahead and I, and I'm going to use this over and over that that cream soda kind of a feel to it. I'm going to put the nose for this one at 23 points. 
On the palette, again, mimic the nose quite nicely. Lots of creamy vanilla, that cream soda. Um, that corn started emerging mid-palate to let us know that it was a bourbon, in fact. Uh, a little bit of that caramel sweetness in there before moving into the, uh, to the finish. I'll give the taste for this one 22.5 points. Finish, a bit of a building allspice there, uh, building into a medium length finish. A little bit of a tangy aftertaste on the palate. I'll put the finish for this one at 20 points. And then the overall balance, I'm going to put it at 19.5. Uh, this whiskey a great continuity of flavors. I, that said, I, I do feel it was a little heavy-handed on the sweet. But nevertheless, like I said, this is a very interesting bourbon, and it's not going to be a bourbon that's for everybody. Um, but if these sound like some notes that might be interesting to your palate, then go out and pick up a bottle. Uh, see, adding up that score, that puts us at 85 points for this Colorado Gold. Well, thanks everybody for joining me today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you please smash that like button. It really, really does help out my channel, and I do appreciate it. Also, if you're not already a member of my channel, go ahead and hit that button and subscribe. And then after you do, make sure you ding that little bell next to the subscribe button and make sure you get notifications of new videos that come out. New videos come out on the weekends, and I wouldn't hate for you to miss one. So go ahead and do that for me, and I will see you again next week right here on The Tasting Room.